programs. It's Thursday morning, May 12th. Stay tuned for our top story today, Highland basketball kidnapping. What? Crazy. Good morning, Highland. Get up and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. Okay, ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can be seated. Wake up, Rams. It's TV time. I'm Student Tan. And I'm Melissa Shai. Thanks for tuning in to Ram TV for your daily announcements, news, and sports. Now let's see what's happening here today at Highland. Our top story today, did the Highland basketball team really get kidnapped in 1972? Here's a Ram TV reporter with the story. Ready. Hey Rams, I'm Katie Howell. And I'm Carson Keller. Today on Secrets of Highland, did Pokey really kidnap Highland's basketball team the day of the Highland Pokey basketball game? Happens. <laughs> Your dream will come alive! Is the legend of the boys basketball kidnapping fact or fiction? Most people believe that the kidnapping is just in the line of forgotten legends around the school that didn't actually happen. So we sent one of our reporters to go check it out. On Thursday, January 11th, 1972, the homecoming potluck dinner was held in the cafeteria the night before the big game. That night, the Pocatello cheerleaders called most of the varsity players home pretending to be Highland Pep Club members, telling the parents about a come-as-you-are breakfast. The parents were asked to have them blindfolded and in their pajamas by 6 a.m. the next morning, and they would pick them up. The plan was to kidnap them at 6 a.m. sharp, keeping the boys hostage in a church basement by Pocatello High School until Highland cheerleaders agreed to their demands, which was to repaint the defaced Pokey Spirit Rock. The boys did not realize that anything was wrong until they were locked in. Pocatello Vice Principal Gail Seaman stepped in the halting stepped in halting the girls' fun approximately at 8.30 in the morning. The basketball game that night was held in the Holt Arena. That's how big the rivalry was. It was a close okay. game between the Highland Rams and the Pocatello Indians. Eventually the Rams pulled out a victory, 72 to 69, after not one, but two overtimes. Dang. The kidnapping later made an appearance on Paul Harvey's national radio show, as well as the High Idaho State Journal and Highland High School's own Rampage. I think it was pretty clever by the, by the girls over at Pocatell High School at that time, uh, taking the kids and their, the other players over to uh, the church there and putting them in the basement. I thought it was very clever by them to retaliate against our girls and paint the rock. We would like to make a shout out to Coach Frost and Mr. Holy. Uh, Holyoke for giving us the scoop on this story. After all of these special facts that we have received, we can conclude that this myth is in fact true. And Highland is still won the game that night. Go Rams! Rams. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you on the studio! Current sophomores that are taking an English honor class, there is a mandatory meeting for everyone who is enrolled in AP English. Mr. Vineran will be holding two meetings to accommodate as many people next Tuesday and Thursday. In his room, be 18 during lunch. Students will be receiving their summer reading and writing assignments, which will be due the first day of school in the fall. So if you have any questions, talk to your English teacher and make sure that you attend those two meetings. Juniors, it's Probably a good idea to start looking at colleges and visiting them this summer. I know I'm going to do that. Mm, good. You can register for the Summer 2016 Driver's Education Session now. Summer classes will begin on June 6th. The school will continue to register until classes are full. The cost for the driver's ed is $175. If you have any questions, you can talk to Melissa in the office. Trio will meet today during lunch. They will be discussing the topic, Best Day of My Life. That'll be so much fun. I think I'm going to go to a trio meeting today. 
and the senior assembly will be tomorrow. Uh, we hope to see you all there and showing your best Ram spirit. Now let's see what's happening here in the world of sports. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Okay. Hey, gu hey guys, it's Charlie Malone. Here's what's happening today in sports at Up Highland. We want to wish the varsity softball team good luck at their district game today at 2. If they win this game today, they will head to state. So let's go, Rams. Good luck to the tennis team as they head to Idaho Falls today for districts. And track races first at Madison for districts as well. That's all from up here in the Highlands. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks for tuning in to Ram TV. I'm Lissa Shai. And I'm Student Tan. Have a great, Have a great day, day, Highlands. Highlands.